Went out last night with Zach and did a gig with a lot of the components from the solo system. Now, what I'm finding out is there are still logistic issues for a person like me, who is, let's face it, let's just say it out loud, I'm disabled. Whether it be temporary or permanent, I only have one good functioning hand, the other one's pretty weak. I only have one great leg, the other one's kind of weak, which is something a lot of people aren't taking into consideration. It's not only the arm, it's the leg with balance, so some things, you, know, you really have to compensate for them somehow. So we're trying. Cable management has been the tough one, and that's what's going to be the biggest challenge, but I will work it out somehow. We started off with these right here, Stage Ninja retractable XLR cables. Now, let's see if I can hang on to it with one hand here, I can show you somehow. Well, I, you're not seeing it in the video, but you know, I can kind of hang on to it and pull the cable out, and then give it a quick tug, and you know, it, it recoils. But I had an AC problem too. I mean, no matter what we do, we still have to get AC from the wall to the mobile setup. And I don't want to wind a big AC cable, so here's what I came up with. What you're looking at is a 30 foot retractable extension cord. I got it at a Home Depot for $29. It's made by a company called Bayco. It's not really made for our use, but it was a good starting point for what I want to do. Now, let me see if I can demonstrate here. It works the same way as the Stage Ninja. I'll just lean my arm on here. It's a recoil. You pull this out and it recoils. Give it a tug, it comes back in. You know, but the problem is we don't really have a proper handle on here like we do on the Stage Ninja. It's built for a different purpose. As you can see on the box top here, they've got it as an install. Here it is in a garage, here it is in a shop. I'm gonna buy more of these because this is brilliant for me doing lighting demos down here in the studio. Don't have to wind and unwind cords all the time. It's gonna make things easy. But I need to give props to Mr. B Klein 31 on YouTube who gave me a cool idea. Check this out. The first thing I have to do is make some kind of carrying handle. So what if I took one of these, a lighting safety cable, and slid it through this built-in bracket on the Bayco winder, recoil, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to run it through two times. This all takes time, one-handed, of course. People get the other hand involved. <laughs> oh, yeah. The challenges we have. There we go. Now we have a handle. This is the hand cart that I use for most of my gigs. I assume I'm going to use it for the solo rig, too. I can physically handle it. It's aluminum. It's heavy-duty, and it's very stable. So now that we have this with the safety cable attached, what if I hung it right here? on the handle of the cart, took my good leg, put it on the cart to support it, just started pulling out as much cable as I needed. Then at the end of the night, when I'm ready to recoil, of course I simply set it right back here on the stand, give it a tug, It takes care of itself. Now, unless somebody has a better idea, I will go with this option. It's actually pretty cool. Once again, thanks, Mr. B. Klein 31, for giving me the idea of using the cart as my other hand. I'm open to ideas, though. If you guys got a better idea, let me know what it is. We still have logistical issues to go through on all the other cabling. But I'm just going to say, this has been fun and challenging at the same time. It continues to be. You have a couple of different things you have to take into consideration when you're building something like this. Some things have to be lightweight. They just have to be, because otherwise you're not going to be able to handle them. Other things are actually going to get heavier. But you've got to break them down into small enough bags and things to carry them. Perfect example, this Bayco recoil extension cord. Weighs a lot more than a standard extension cord would. Probably at least twice the weight. I'm going to guess it weighs between 8 and 10 pounds. I don't have an exact weight for it but your extension cords are usually under five. So there you go. Got any ideas, let me know. Once again, thanks, Mr. Klein. Appreciate your input. Practice and enjoy.